Welcome back to yet another episode of Door Kickers 2 Task Force North, where we've been applying realistic and authentic CQB and infantry doctrine to this game. This game is called Door Kickers 2 Task Force North. It's available from my game store over at nexus.gg slash controlled pairs gaming. And if you purchase it from there, you'll be supporting the channel directly. Thanks so much to each of you who choose to purchase the game in that way. Guys, today we are in for a treat. I'm playing a level called Who Goes There? This is designed by a dude named CEO of the internet. It's available over on the Steam Workshop. This is a custom map. And all of the feedback in the comment section over on the Steam Workshop is extremely positive. And looking at it, it looks like it is going to be a very technical and a very kind of, you know, slow paced tactical clearance of this, uh, this kind of enemy compound or training camp style area. There's not only a background story over here. We don't have a lot of like detail on exactly what the mission entails, but we can derive a little bit of information just by stopping to take a look at it and performing what we call intelligence preparation of the battlefield as we always do. So let's start by doing exactly that. The first thing I notice is that when kind of looking at the primary avenue of approach into the target area, it is fortified. You've got Jersey barriers here and here it creates a serpentine pattern that is deliberately designed to slow down vehicles That's why you see that at entry control points because as you arrive to this area The vehicles gonna have to slam on its brakes and move slowly through this It gives the people at the entry control point the ECP an opportunity to take a look at the vehicle inspect it search it or whatever Right in front of the vehicle that perhaps we even arrived in based off of these, you know ability to spawn here is uh, is one bad guy right out in front. We've also got indications by virtue of intelligence that there's likely other bad guys in these areas and it's a heavily defended area we've got a uh, an rpk looks like on a bipod mounted behind that jersey barrier if we continue to look around there's immediately you know evidence of additional fortifications there's a freaking dishka set up over here one individual right next to that dishka who's likely the guy either the you know the assistant gunner the ammo bear or the operator of that crew served weapon system uh, we have an additional AK right here. Tons of seating in lounge areas, right? So, like, we just have to assume that this is a very large enemy size, you know, uh, very large sized enemy element. Certainly a platoon size or a uh, larger. So, I'm thinking like 30 to 40 dudes. Uh, but they are a, an unconventional force, an insurgent force, and they're equipped with, um, you know, those Soviet era Russian style weapons. But there's additional concerns just based off of the severity and the amount of weapons that we're seeing we see another ak over here looks like a living space extremely well organized and decorated so like props to ceo of the internet just uh nailing it with like the rugs and the reading material and just like the detail he's put into some of these spaces um up top looks like a kind of a logistics node ammo cans a bunch of open ammo cans here so we can assume these guys have been resupplying uh, there's a shoulder fire munition or some other larger munition right there so these guys are armed to the teeth have another weapon system here lots of tools and stuff like that perhaps a workshop arms room drill press or clamp or something right there so they're manufacturing stuff they're working on guns they're reloading their weapons they have a deliberate logistics node so it's a semi-professional force capable of performing at least kind of that baseline logistics over here we have a more of a workspace maybe like a media cell or something right here or um Golly, look at all these freaking weapons. Is that like radios, maybe medical supplies, open ammo cans, an additional weapon system? Then we've got shoulder fires here. So now the threat isn't just heavy weapon systems, machine guns. It's also now shoulder fired weapon systems. Um, so we can expect to just see a uh, an, ex an extremely high level of, uh, of resistance on this one. Certainly enough that uh, I am concerned about it. Um, over here, no overt, I was going to say no overt signs of enemy presence, but look at this. There's ammo cans, ammo cases, AKs, at least three or four plus magazines in there. Um, freaking hookah on the floor, so they're chilling, smoking some shisha. So hopefully they're relaxed and not on high alert. RPG warheads here, more ammo cans here. Um, meeting area here, shisha in the center, so they're looking at photos or hanging out. Okay. Um, outside, garbage, stuff piled up, lots of vehicles, one, two, three, four, five vehicles. So guys, I'm thinking like 30 dudes. I'm thinking around 30 guys are on this objective. And the mission is to eliminate all terrorists. So this is not a capture. This is not a hostage rescue. This is not a, you know, destroy critical material. Our mission is to eliminate the combatants on this objective. What I will say is based off what we're seeing, 
I don't think there's civilians here. I don't. I could be wrong. There could be, you know, um, people that are perhaps providing aid in the form of, uh, you know, logistical care or, uh, or feeding these dudes, um, cooking for them or whatever. But I don't think they're living here with their families. Don't think they're living here with their wives. This is a training camp or a compound um, occupied by combatants who are uh, in a military-like posture and established defensive fighting positions. So how do you go about the problem of killing everybody here? Um, usually I'd say like you conduct a deliberate assault and you would, you know, arrive to an objective rally point, move to a release point somewhere like this. You'd move to a piece of key terrain where you can have good, you know, observation and fields of fire. And you'd from that location establish a support by fire position that's able to affect the entire objective and then perhaps launch a clearance of the objective while shifting fire and employing artillery and shoulder fires and all these other weapons that we can bring to bear in a high intensity conflict. The catch in today's Door Kickers episode is I only have five dudes to try and solve this impossible problem. However, I do think I'm still going to use kind of that same uh, baseline approach. Uh, I do want to establish a battle position behind cover and concealment. You know, potentially, there's a fence here, potentially like somewhere in this area, maybe up behind this truck. I want them to be able to look deep this way to isolate this structure from the rest of these compounds and I also want them to be able to look this way to take shots deep and protect the flank once I establish this battle position which is also functioning as a support by fire like its task is to both isolate uh, and to suppress and uh, once I, I accomplish that I want to launch onto this structure and create a um, you know a foothold get a foothold in the village and I'll do that with a three-man assault element once that's done we can start subsequently clearing all these other buildings this is going to be extremely dangerous not least because we know that there's a bunch of enemy external if they were all just hanging out inside the entire time that'd be one story but they're not they're patrolling they're going to be you know potentially compromising us on infill um, and it's going to be extremely extremely challenging so who are we bringing to the fight today well the usual suspects we've got uh philly up front with a mark 18 suppressed he's also got bangs frags and a wall breach everyone's bringing dual tube nods that look like i don't know what these are 31s yeah, the 31 dual tube, probably white foss. Uh, drummer, same setup, also bringing a wall shot. We're also bringing Spartan 1 Actual. He's got a Mark 18 with a 203 on it, and uh, so he can shoot 40 millimeter high explosive grenades. He's also bringing flashbang smokes and a spy camera just so we can take a peek into some of these doors. So later on, as we've been injured and uh, we've been compromised, we can do a little bit to mitigate risk prior to entry. He's a, And uh, he's bringing the same kind of armor protection as well. So that support by fire, that battle position is only going to be two personnel. One of them is going to be Nia Taro Rex with a Mark 48. That's a um, it's a medium machine gun that kind of is like a hybrid between a saw and a 240. It's a little bit lighter, but it's still, you know, it's an open bolt. Um, you know, 762 millimeter belt fed crew serve weapon, but it can be manned by one individual today. That individual is Neo Terra Rex and it is suppressed, which is wild. You don't see a whole lot of suppressed machine guns because those suppressors get cooked. Um, he's running the, uh, I think it's the, just the MGO. Yeah. And, um, next gen helmet all around sappies, level four plates on all sides. He's also bringing an AT4 in case things get spicy. And then Grover's bringing an M110 gas gun as our precision fire weapon system to pair up with that machine gun. He's got a can on it and an LPVO. That's a one to eight what kind of ammo you got. So 130 grain steel tip precision fire system using that steel tip ammo makes sense. Bunch of smokes as well. I think I might even swap this out and eh, we'll keep it because he is in the battle position. We've got a little bit of a, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start playing this thing out. We know our plans to try and establish some sort of battle position here, conduct clearance in this direction, utilizing as much cover and concealment as possible. We all we will also fight from cover. And I think what I wanna do is once I get a foothold in here, I may even choose to blow out a wall or two and, uh, and fight from this structure. Uh, so to be determined how that goes, but step one is gonna be clearing this MSR and doing it quietly if we're able to do it, uh, establishing this battle position quietly if we're able to do it and retaining surprise long enough to assault this structure. Let's see how this all goes. All right, so I'm just rapidly here allowing my guys to get eyes on various targets. As soon as I, you see this, as soon as I pivoted them, as soon as I turned them, um, we started seeing bad guys. Uh, I don't want to get compromised quite yet. What I do want to do, I think, is uh, is get some smoke out here. That's a bang. This is a smoke. And once that smoke goes, do I have any other smoke out here? Yeah, there's one. All right, once this smoke all goes, we're going to start transitioning 
uh, to the north, try to remain uncompromised for the duration and get set into that battle position that we had already described. Uh, also concerns about threats from up top, but I think I'm going to fight from this cover because there's no way we're going to get into this structure uncompromised at this point. Still want to establish this support by fire and uh, and begin suppressing and start, you know, um, cutting the grass, as it were, on the target and reducing the enemy's numbers before we continue to push. Let's get this smoke out. All right, the smoke is out. We're going to get good eyes on the um, back side of this structure here. That's one element of our, our uh, isolation element. Good eyes here. There we go. Everyone's got decent cover. Yeah, you got good cover. You've got reasonably good cover. You've got reasonably good cover right there. And then the big one is this 48. What kind of fields of fire do you have there? Reasonably decent fields of fire. And then we're going to put this 110 back here where his he's protected from... The, uh, he's his flank is protected here, but he's also able to shoot deep. So the question is, can we accomplish this without getting compromised? We're about to find out. My biggest concern here is just not having enough cover. We are now compromised. We're going to go ahead and initiate our suppression right there. I'm going to tell everyone they are no longer required to be quiet. We're also going to start worrying about getting some grenades out. Let's see if we can sling one right there. This is a risky grenade shot. Extremely risky, especially in door kickers. Extremely risky grenade shot. This 110 is about to start being able to do some work as well. Things are about to get sporty, folks. Here we go. Good initial violence of action. We've definitely got the initiative here. We're suppressing good deep, still got security long, got to maintain this. Has anyone been wounded yet? Everyone's looking okay. I'm moving this individual, who is this? I'm moving Spartan 1 here, because Spartan's the only one that's going to be able to see this door. That's kind of our near threat. Uh, unfortunately, I do still have to have security on the back side of that structure, like this... Um, this kind of like isolation position right here so I need to leave Philly in that position I'm happy so far with where I've got my precision fire weapon system I do have another target right here another right there I'm gonna keep I want to get that grenade launcher back in the fight uh, I'm not in a position to do it quite yet so we're gonna have to fight with what we got for right now I'm also starting to think like where's the RPGs at Where's the stuff that can hurt me? Where's the grenades going to you know, start landing? Uh, we've got great violence of action. These guys have no idea what hit them, but the fight is only just beginning. This guy needs to go down fast. He's got an RPK. Luckily, we've got a line of sight with Grover. Grover really needs to make the shot, and he does reliably. Good looking out, my guy. Good looking out. Um, we're going to keep up this suppressive fire as best we can. Start getting a... Uh, I don't want to burn that grenade because this is going to be a long one, folks. Another squirter right there, or a mover, I should say. Good deal. He's getting suppressed. So good suppression from that machine gun allowed our Mark uh, Mark 18 that's co-located to uh, to take that accurate shot. All right, another mover right here. That's a veteran insurgent. He's also going to be affected by that suppression. I think we got a Mark 48 reloading. As soon as he's done reloading, I'm gonna get him turned back on immediately. We're seeing a ton of contact over there. We don't have to know exactly where the enemy is to affect known likely and suspected positions. All right, we'll go into a watch and shoot for him just to see if any other situations develop. We do have one, a, 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 one door open up here. Let's see if we can get eyes on it with our gas gun that's exactly why we had Spartan 1 in that position 
glad we brought the 110 today. Absolutely glad we brought the 110. I'm also going to use this as an opportunity to swap drummer for Spartan 1. That was wild. You get, was that a flare they threw at me or like a freaking something that it, some form of illumination? That was pretty powerful. I'm going to let this develop. Oh, we got a AK deep over here. We're going to turn the suppression back on. Looking good. We're going to hold this watch and shoot. We have been compromised. Remember, it's dark. We've got nods. We are still in concealment and have a huge tactical advantage by virtue of that night vision that we're able to employ. Um, so we're going to keep holding it for now. All right, before we press any further, I do kind of want to make sure that we're clear and secure down here. So I'm going to kind of just pie up a little bit with my DMR to ensure that that is the case. We have one civilian on the battlefield, potentially our driver or whoever arrived in this structure. That does inform my calculus when employing, you know, high explosive munitions. But by virtue of the amount of enemy combatants we've seen so far, I'm still going to be pretty um, <laughs> aggressive. All right, we're ready to start taking out our first structure. I think we've got our support by fire established with uh, with this Mark 48. The way we're going to do this is, I believe, I'm going to put this 110 right here, looking deep. And then I'm going to stack the rest of my assault element right here. So my... Uh, there we go. 110's looking good. Mark 48's looking good. Bringing my other GL over here off of this battle position. Now, this battle position is functioning as intended at this point, folks. So I've got uh, 110 allowing me to have great security this direction. Look into this open threshold. I've got a machine gun giving me great you know, effects down here. He's able to suppress long enough to shift this precision fire weapon system over to finish the fight if need be. I might even shift this guy a little bit to give me a peek right there. There we go. That's perfect. Um, so now I've got really, really long observation in fields of fire with a gun that's able to shoot over the such distances. Yeah, I think that's the ticket right there. Um, so what we're going to do now is, one, go ahead and give our machine gun a chance to reload while being extremely mindful of what's going on in his sector. Machine gun is up. 110 has only expended or one round in that current magazine. These guys could use a tactical reload. One gun stays up the whole time. The others go ahead and reload. All right, we are crossing a linear danger area here, so we're going to pie this corner. Long enough for us to move to right here. I do kind of want to go... What we'll do is get a camera under that door if we can. So who's this? That's Drummer. All right, there's the camera. Got to move far enough forward that we're able to support them around that deep angle. Okay. Moving to Breach. We have one shooter in here. Make that two shooters in here. This dude's like in the prone or acting all funky. All right, so we're going to go explosive in here. This is not a room that we want to play any games with. Uh, so what we'll do here is come off of that door. We don't want to play around outside too much. We will go ahead and push around the corner here, holding long security, move over here. I was going to say set the explosive charge, but he doesn't have one.
All right, we're going to go ahead and open up this breach. We've already got cross coverage into the room. We'll work the angle. That's why we have long security. Move into a position where we can see this door. And having taken that shot before we make entry onto this structure, because we are hard compromised at this point, I do want to pie this corner off. Okay, we're looking okay there, actually. Um, all right, I'm actually going to hold this position. I'm going to attempt a two-man clear of this structure. It is risky, um, but it's also a risk that uh, seems reasonable given the amount of contact we've taken and the fact that we've set conditions pretty effectively with that explosive breach in this room. Of course, we can't enter here. Oh, that is devastating. Why can't we enter? Is there... There's furniture in the way. Damn it. All right. Dirty breach. We'll hold it. Bring the camera back around. Put it under. Mm, this is so dangerous. This will be a DP here. Alpha, go. So this guy is at extreme risk right now. All right, rest of that room is clear. I'm going to go ahead and make entry with my one man. Super dangerous single man entry, but we had good cover with Drummer while we did it, which is the only reason I felt comfortable doing it. All right, we've already made contact with one set of individuals from this room so we can only assume that there will be more we do not have a slap charge to solve this problem for us uh, so we're gonna have to do some kind of pretty technical working around doorways here um, we'll come up here stage on the door handle side hit it with the foot make sure we've got someone there to protect our buddy as we do it tie that to an action code typically I'd want a three man in this stack and I'd want to toss a bang as well what we're doing right now is extremely, extremely, extremely dangerous. Alpha, go. I will get a bang in here. I already took one shot. Plus now, golly, look at that. We'll run the rabbit here. That's the target corner. Good, rest of the structure is clear. And they have an open breach to the rear. Gotten some radio chatter. Already thinking potentially enemy QRF could arrive now, either from off map this direction or from over here. And maybe there's even a radio right there that we're getting that feedback from. Man, okay. All right, our next move is uh, is potentially a, another pretty difficult one. Um, we're going to need to launch into this next structure and begin our kind of deliberate clearance here. It's an open breach. We've got good security through this entire space by virtue of our 110 being in this position. Um, but we can't see this dead space and we don't know what's back here. We do see an open breach though. So I think what we'll do here is move to stack without hard committing. Like so. Now I'm thinking that, you know, once we've got this structure now clear and secure, where's the best place on the map that I can move this little blocking position to support by fire to best support my assault element. Right now, I think I'm still comfortable with where we're at. I like that I'm able to see deep down this long axis, but really all that does for me is prevent this, you know, structure from reinforcing the guys up top. So I don't know if that's, you know, really the value, uh, the best value I can, I can provide them right now. But, um, 
Um, but it's it's the position they're in, and I, I don't think I think once I take this structure out, I'll be prepared to kind of reposition those guys. Uh, definitely want to bang this before entering. I put that bang in kind of a neutral point, maybe even deep here. To be honest with you, yeah, I'll put it deep because we we got an open threshold. We're gonna choke up on the stack while we do that. Bang is going in. We are going to pan here. Then enter. Did we get hit? No, we did not. Still looking good. That's why that Mark 18 works well in those close quarter situations. I am going to pull deep cover right here. Another risky move because we do have a little bit of dead space and we have to cross this threshold. So um, kind of a challenging one, frankly. I think what I'll actually do is I'll button hook with this guy. He'll center check, check his corner, transition immediately there. Do something similar on this side. Now the question is, what does this door expose us to? Because we do not know what's back here. About to find out. Barricaded shooter right there. We definitely need everyone to cover. Now, how do we affect this guy? And that's where I start thinking about how do I reposition my battle position to best support these dudes. Uh, and, and that's exactly what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to try to get my battle position up into here, pull security this way and this way. Um, so how do we do that safely? I think first let's get this machine gun into cover. He's pushing us. That was dangerous. Next, let's get our 110 into position. now I am once again satisfied for now with the position of this support by fire element uh, but this structure is going to be a whole new ball game it looks pretty complex I do like though that I'm able to put this 110 in a position where I'll be able to get early warning from anything squirting from this building or this building towards this structure which needs to be my next target structure in fact I think I'll even move up here a little bit yeah that's good And I'm happy with where this machine gun is. The only concern I have is that MSR. If there's any adjacent enemy camp that I'm not accounting for that could affect us here. Uh, but we'll find that out momentarily, no doubt. All right, so how do we posture for this? Is there a guard out here? Is there any enemy kind of hanging out in the, the dead space back here? We don't know the answer. I'm going to try to pry this off a little bit with this guy. All right, we look okay outside. There is dead space behind this fence. This move is super dangerous. I'm going to post up here for our boy. About to make a pretty dangerous move. Alpha, go. All right, we'll hold security on the door and move the stack in right behind him. I do want to clear the black side of this building before I do much else. Choke the stack up a little bit. What are we shooting at? Oh. That's a good catch. That black side looks good. That black side looks good. In fact, 
That may even give us a better opportunity. I can hold security here with one man. We can push deep here. To take a better look at the flank of this position. Which is 100% the right move right now. Alpha, go. Black side looks clear. I'm actually really, really liking this. Um, then the question is, can I safely put a camera under that? I probably would be able to. I'm once again going to leave Drummer on containment for this structure. Uh, bring him back, or bring back Spartan 1 to pull security so I can get a camera under this door. Let's see what you got, buddy. That dead space is killing me. Okay. Move him back over here to do the same thing. And again, pull security for him while he does it. When he is most vulnerable, we never let the one man work on a door without good cover. Alright, so the only places that are unclear are this bathroom <laughs> and this dead space here. Um, I think we can go Simo on this one. Uh, in fact, that's what I think we'll do. I'm going to get some standoff because I have the ability to do it over here. I can even look deep in the process. I can work a manual beach breach there. And a boot breach there. We'll tie that boot breach to a go code. That manual breach is going to take a second. Look at that. We can look all the way down there. Clear the whole perimeter. Good essay on the door. Alright, we're going to go ahead and initiate this breach. It's going to take a second. Alpha, There's the boot go. breach. Boot of the door. We're going to back off, let the door breathe. negative response two fatal funnels into a room that you know has dudes with shoulder fires in it so that's good all right um we know that this would likely cause sympathetic explosions in the real world this is not the real world so we are going to get some he into this structure prior to entering just to protect our guys alpha go Glad we backed up. I got hit. Who caught that caused frag? Philly, did you just get hurt? God, that was a lot of sympathetic detonations in there, bro. <gasps> Look at all those shoulder fires. They're gone. Let's go. Yo, can you get secondaries from shoulder fires in this game now? Is that what just happened? All right, I think we're good to start clearing, huh? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that was wild. All right. Choke it in there, fellas. Someone survived. That's actually impressive. Glad we have knots. Might be, you know, wondering why I entered on one side. The risk of fracture side was just higher than I wanted to accept there, so I didn't want to clear from both sides simultaneously. Um, we will go ahead and push long here on this bathroom. There's dead space there. Dead space. Two pieces of dead space. There. Alpha, go.
All right, structure's clear and secure. That was a doozy. Next victim. All right, next, um, based off where we're at, I think, like, this is clearly the most complex structure, and I have good security on it with these two guys. Uh, so I think what I want to do is get back outside, reestablish security on this structure, and continue working kind of this um, clockwise clearance of the AO. How are we doing on ammo? 15 to 30. Go ahead and get your reload on, my dude. Did you reload? No, change weapons. There we go. All right, you're up. Reloads complete, looking good. All right, this one is another challenging one. We have a secondary little guest house outside, and then we've got this whole thing here. Um, again, I think I want to work deep, try to get a camera here, potentially go explosive, maybe here, because that would actually allow me to gain entry. Um, I don't want to stick a camera under that door because it's going to expose me too much to this open, uncleared area in this structure. I'm comfortable leaving these two in position where they are. Um, with their fires kind of being oriented on this building. In fact, I might even move Grover here into a little better position. That is why. All right, I'd say Grover's in a good spot. <laughs> I would say Neo's in a good spot. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Looking good there. Um, we're going to start making this move. Shooter. We can expect a response based off of the noise we're making. Okay. Damn. I can't believe he was still there after all that shooting. Camera under the door. Security is set. That's kind of like my most high risk security area right there, honestly, is this open breach. One shooter inside. Okay. I still think I like this explosive breach option right there. Although we've seen so many secondaries, we all know. <laughs> Explosive bridge could get a little spicy since I do have an open threshold here. I'm curious if it's worth Attempting to uh, get that cleared out and I think it might be I think I think I'm gonna push for it Honestly, I might be able to kind of single man it to be honest with you dangerous 100% is freaking dangerous. Are you kidding me? 100 good freaking flare now nah, that's risky we don't want to expose this guy to risk right now let that flare die before we recommit 
Got plenty of time, folks. What a freaking marathon of a map. I've been recording for 40 minutes, dude. Holy gosh. All right, let's try this again. Reasonably good security. That cell there is kind of concerning. Looks like a freaking torture cell. One man run the rabbit. Let's go. Ah, same, same. All right, we're clear. Makes me feel pretty good about that flank. Um, get you out of here, buddy. You are exposed as hell. All right, we do have one wall shot available to this. The question is, do I think I need the wall shot, shot elsewhere? I don't think so. I think I can get in here, and I think... Yeah, I'm, I think I'm good. I think I got breach options on that last structure. Um, so I think I am going to use the wall shot on this one. We've got good SA. That's going to get us through two walls, potentially. And again, guys, this would be dangerous, right? Like, I don't want Philly over here putting this charge on the door by himself, but I've already got security in this door. I know where the bad guys are at. There's no breach over here, and I've got security for him right there. So that's kind of where my mind is on that one. Um, okay, Philly is going to back off. We know there could be potentially secondaries, so we are going to get some cover. Well, or at least some standoff. All right, and we'll get one gun on the door there. Go ahead and detonate this thing. I think we have good effects. And some blind fire. Get wrecked, nerd. We will 100% put a freaking grenade back there if we can. Watch out. <laughs> Let's give another one. Am I able to? That's a dangerous move. There we go. Not, not there, buddy. Right there. With security. Much more effective. Also dark all of a sudden. Um, all right, this is a tough one, right? Because we've got a center-fed small room into a corner-fed complex room into a corner-fed complex room and only three men to do it. How are we doing on ammo? 28, 31, 26. We know most of these guys are dead. Philly's got the most SA on this room, so he should get it. Spartan One's got the most SA on this room, so he should get it. Um, that does mean that they're going to have to cross here briefly. I think the way that we're going to do this one, uh, I'm not going to allow them to get the essay they want. We'll pan it like this. And put these guys on a, I don't want to put them on a sh that much of a hold, just a short, short, short hold. Alpha, go. Looking good. And then we'll run the rabbit here. Spartan does have good SA, so he will be shooter. Philly go deep. Philly will be on a hold. Rear security set. Okay. Alpha, go. All right. Structure's clear and secure. One more. Oh, my gosh. This thing is a brain bender, man. It's good, though. I mean, it's extremely technical. It's a, This is what I love about door kickers. It's what it's all about. Uh, how are we doing over here? 26 rounds, 31 rounds, 28 rounds. Let's get these doors open. Definitely want to pull security for that one. That's why you want to pull security for that one. Oh my 
God. Freaking. It's one giant anxiety attack. Okay. Alright, hold this. Rinse, wash, and repeat here. Again, security. No, we haven't talked Alpha, about go. we haven't talked about the principles principles of patrolling much before. We need to make a point of that at some point here in the future. Um, okay, let's pan off the rest of this. Looks good. You will come out and pull left cover. You boys will come out and pull right cover, as well as front cover. Go. Looking good. That's all the magic ingredients to get us across the street. We know we're clear up top already because we already did a lot of that fighting. Um, we're also kind of clear down below as well. But I, I, what I kind of want to do is take a peek in here and then potentially come over here and take a peek in there. Those are the two breaches we've had eyes on the whole time. As a result of that, the ones that I feel most comfortable with. A lot of times uh, in CQB, people have a tendency to get extremely bunched up, me included. Um, because the nature of the, like, the way you fight with angles is you can protect your buddies better if you're close to them watching their flank. But you got to know when to like expand out and when to suck back in. Oh, God. There we go. Alright, so I like that angle right there. I want you to hold that. Give me enough time to come around here. Let's start working clearance. this off and then I'll get that bang in there if it's even needed might as well run the rabbit god look at all those gats dude all right this room we know is clear we also have access now to the um, fuse box I destroy that. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe if I close that door, I'll be able to. Yes. All right. Get that thing turned off. Kill the lights in this. Give us that advantage we so love. Now I'm going to take this angle from my buddy. And now that I own that angle, I can get him back in the fight. See how that works? Now, once again, I beg the question, where can our support by fire best support us? Um, and right now, it might be this door right there because that's the only one we're not able to see. Uh, we don't want dudes squirting out of here and moving on our flank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Mark 48 suppressed, reposition him in a location where perhaps he is able to see that flank, which is right there. I don't want him to go by himself, um, so I'm going to have him move with my M110. And I don't think I have any other use for the 110 up here, but I do want my 48 to have a Ranger buddy. So I'm going to let him do that. Alpha, go.
Okay, looking good. Definitely want to start banging every room I'm entering now. Not really a good space to bang from. Come back over this guy's shoulder, perhaps. There it is. I expect this door might be open. Bangs out. Number one man, corner fed room. He'll take that. He'll execute a center check, point of domination. Collapse his sector. I suspect the big threat's gonna be this door. So we are gonna come here and probably end up holding short that door right there. Rapidly collecting that. And then number three man will come in, hold the door and deep. All right, we're going to get out of this doorway as best we can. We have the tools, so we're going to use the tools. Get a camera under the door. Keep a gun on the door while the camera's on it. One shooter, two shooters. Okay. All right. Um, definitely don't want to fight that head on. We have barricaded shooters. The solutions for barricaded shooters is typically high explosive, folks. Um, so I do not want to sit here and try to face these guys head on. What I do want to do is get some standoff, some security for these guys. And I'm going to put my team in a position to win. By getting some standoff and employing some 40 mic mic. <laughs> if I can. Because the bottom line is we're compromised. We're hard compromised. We have the advantage. We've killed a lot of their friends. It's nighttime. We've got nods. They don't, but they still are camping in a room. They are barricaded in a room with weapons oriented on the fatal funnel that I seek to enter into. If that's the case and you have tools where you don't have to face that threat, then don't. Then don't. Give him a buddy. It clears back blast. We're going to put an AT4 on this door. Any response now? Got an AT4 in there. That means we can get some HE in there. And there you have it, folks. How to clear a building without entering it. 12 minutes, 11 seconds. First attempt, 33 killed, zero loss, three stars. That was 12 minutes of elapsed time. That might be the longest single playthrough I've ever had in Door Kickers. This map is fantastic. Thanks again to the CEO of the internet for designing such a phenomenal map. We're going to go ahead and watch this replay, guys. I know it's a longer video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my secret YouTube channel, you guys might want to keep an eye on it. Some pretty cool stuff is on the way. I'm Controlled Pairs. This is Door Kickers 2. I'll see you in the next one.
Alpha. Go. Alpha, go. Alpha, go. Alpha, go. Alpha, go. Alpha, go.
go. Alpha, go. Alpha, go. 